Yeah, my name is Bill Adamani, and I was chairman of the building committee for the Hoffman Hall renovation. Uh, I had a fair amount of experience in, uh, in overseeing building construction, not as a contractor, but as an owner. I think uh, through this process, we really brought it back to life. I mean, the building was kind of old, tired, needed a lot of TLC, and I think that was the main thing, was shoring up really the structure itself and making it a... Uh, a, a viable building to move into the future. As far as moving into the future, you know, phase one just got completed. Uh, phase two really is the frosting on the cake. Phase one was a lot of infrastructure items, whether it be electrical or structural, and also ADA uh, accessibility. But people uh, would be very impressed. That, you know, even just the front entrance is uh, was done beautifully and is an improvement over what was there. And then as soon as you come in the front entrance, you see the elevator. I mean, that's something that 50 years ago, you know, people weren't putting in because mm -hmm. there weren't the uh, requirements. For probably the biggest thing for phase two will be uh, the downstairs, remodeling the whole downstairs with rooms from everything for daycare, meeting rooms, and of course the workout area. And uh, that's going to be probably the nicest feature of phase two. I'm just happy to see this building uh, get a new lease on life. Um, it was in question for so many years, and now that uh, the structure is uh, uh, back to what it was meant to be, um, I think it's got a long future ahead of it. My name is John Ryan. Well, I'm a, a member of the uh, Off and All group, and I'm also a volunteer, and I also work here. Well, we're usually open from 8 in the morning until 5.30 at night, and I volunteer on Wednesdays from 12 noon until 4 p.m. Hoffman Hall opened up in 1995, and I started swimming. I'm one of the original swimmers from 1995, and it's good exercise. I've come at least three times a week. You should come to Hoffman Hall for your own well-being, to keep you uh, in good shape. You can, for uh, social activities, you can go swimming, you can do water aerobics, you can walk on the gym floor, you can play basketball, you can play volleyball, meet your friends here and have different activities, play cards. Any activity that you'd be interested in, Hoffman Hall is available for you. My name is Jackie Frederick. Well, my role in Hoffman Hall is I'm a coordinate and facilitate programs for the special needs. I first started out with being a volunteer for Special Olympics, and one of my um, volunteer co-workers had mentioned me uh, organizing a program for the special needs. Because now the new renovations and stuff, I've been able to get more of my um, athletes to come out and participate. The ones in wheelchairs were, before they were very limited in what they could do because of the access. What I would like to see in five years is utilizing this building to its full potentials. We as a community, we need to be working as one. It's pulling the family together. My name is Jerry Kleisner, and I've been volunteering here at Hoffman Hall for quite a while now. We have so many things in progress that still have to be done here. I'm really working on people to kayak. We've got a group in town that goes, and there's a driftless paddlers from Burwolfer that join, let us join them too. And it's just a lot of fun, and any age can do it. Well, we're going to have three classes here, and in the meantime, the people that are going to teach are going to have a refresher course. This gal will come on lacrosse and teach us the techniques we're supposed to have to teach others. There's many nice things about Hoffman Hall, and we're hoping to do much more in the future, but until then, I just wish to tell all the people in Perry Shane, come on down, try it. I like it. Um, my name is Megan Pedretti. Um, I am the volunteer coordinator. I'm also an aerobics instructor. I teach swimming lessons and I lifeguard and I also teach lifeguarding classes. We have a, 10 volunteers that work, um, they each work four hour shifts from 8 to 12 and then from 12 to 4. So we're open every day except um, Thanksgiving we're closed, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. Easter, holidays like that. I hope we expand our hours a little bit, um, maybe a little later into the evening and weekends, and I hope we have more um, classes for people during the day in the evening. Um, I like the Pilates class. I think that's good for your core fitness. Um, some people like water aerobics because they can't handle the stress on their um, joints, 
Um, I like the morning classes are really good for toning and sculpting. Um, so it depends on what you like. A lot of people like yoga because they need to improve their flexibility. So we have something for everyone.